Hello, I'm Craig from Kershalton Advisory. This tutorial series covers the Excel 2019 Expert Curriculum. Download Microsoft's example files linked in the description in order to work through them together as we begin Section 1.2, Preparing Workbooks for Collaboration. Let's get started. With our 1-2-A workbook open, the first thing we need to do is to unlock the cells that are in range C3 to C7. Now, by default, uh, the cells in every Microsoft uh, Excel worksheet are going to be locked. And you might have noticed this if you go into the uh, Format Cells dialog box, uh, which I activated just by hitting Control-1. If you go into this protection, you're going to notice that this locked is checked. And for a long time, when I would see this, I would be confused because I could use all the cells. I didn't notice any difference, and I wasn't sure what this locked meant or not. Uh, so what will happen here if we exit out, uh, we need to highlight the cells that we'd like to change because all of the cells in a worksheet are by default locked. We're going to select the cells that we want to have unlocked. Once we have them selected, we're going to change their protection. And so we could access that um, cell formatting by uh, clicking this uh, font settings tab. And so now we have all of the format cells options here. Um, alternatively, and, and, and what you'll probably get used to is just by using the shortcut control and the number one. And once we're in here, we can actually select the different tabs by typing the first number or excuse me, the first letter of each tab's name. So N takes me to number, F would take me to font, um, protection would be P. Uh, we could also navigate them just like we would through normal tabs by hitting control page up and control page down. So now that we're on the protection side, we want to unlock these cells. So we see that locked is toggled on. So I could click that with my mouse. Uh, the other trick to navigating these is you'll notice that the L is underlined just like here for hidden, uh, it's also underlined. So when that is letter is underlined, that, n that tells us that we can activate it or toggle it by using Alt and that letter. So we can untoggle this by hitting Alt L. Now you can use your mouse, you can use keyboard shortcuts in the exam, it, it doesn't matter. Uh, to me, it's about speed and efficiency. If this gives you a few more minutes on your exam because you're able to do everything quicker, uh, that you could rework it one more challenging problem, it's gonna be worth it for you. So now that that's done, we're gonna click OK. Now the behavior of our worksheet uh, isn't going to be any different. So now that I've done that, these cells don't look any different, they don't behave any different. The change comes with our next step. So what we need to do now is to activate our worksheet protection. Uh, so this is located in our review tab. Now you could mouse over to the review tab and click, or we can use our shortcuts, which is Alt, A for review. And once we're in here, we're gonna go to protect sheet, uh, which is over here in the towards the middle of my screen. And in order to protect sheet, we'll activate that in my case by hitting PS. Now what they tell us is that uh, we don't want to enter a password and we don't want to allow users to select lock cells or to format cells. So when we look at this list of options here, um, right now, once this is protected, the only thing users are going to be able to do is to select an unlocked cell. Uh, they can't do anything else in this list. Now, if for different purposes, we could change that if we wanted to, but for the purposes of this example, we'll leave it as it is and we will leave the password blank so that it's unprotected. There is no password. Once we click OK, when we go back to this worksheet, you'll notice that if we click anywhere in this worksheet, nothing happens, with the exception of the loan data here. So when I click in the loan data, uh, we can see that I can select these cells. If I want to, I can change them, and the worksheet responds. But I can't use my arrow keys to move anything beyond that small range that's been selected. The one exception is this monthly selector. So I can go over here. I can still select this control because uh, this is not actually... Uh, actually, it's not going to let me do it. I can select it, but it's not going to let me change it. So uh, this isn't actually in my worksheet. It, it kind of is on a separate layer above it. Um, and uh, I believe we can uh, set, change our settings to allow us to make those changes. So that confirms uh, that users can modify our loan parameters in our range, but cannot change anything else on the worksheet. 
Next up, we need to open up the 1-2B worksheet, and we're going to do some similar steps, and we're going to do a couple different ones here with this one. So first off, we're going to unlock cells in the range B2 to B6. So I have my uh, cell B2 selected. I'm going to hold the shift key and arrow down to B6. We are going to now unlock these cells. So by hitting Control-1, I get my Format Cell dialog box opened, and I'm going to hit P for protection and hit Alt-L in order to unlock those cells. Once again, we don't see any change in behavior. Uh, once I've done that, it only comes into effect once we decide to protect the sheet. Now, our next uh, thing that we've been requested to do is to now protect the cells in the range B7 through B8 with a password. So this is different than just leaving them locked. Um, what we're going to do is select those two cells. We're going to go into our review tab. Now you could have used your mouse. I'm going to use my keyboard and we're going to now allow an edit range. So I'll select that with U1 and in here we're going to allow users to edit a range. There are no ranges that have already been set up for us. So we'll hit new or we could hit alt N to do that. We could title this range if we wanted to, but we're going to add the password specified uh, that MOS123. Once I do that, you'll notice Excel is asking me to double check just to make sure that I have the right password that I want in there. So once that's confirmed, oh, I didn't do the same one here. Let me try again. All right, so once that we've done that, it now shows us this range that I've, I've left just with the generic name. It tells me what that range is. So we'll hit OK. You'll notice that once again, once we've changed those options, we can still navigate completely through the sheet. We can make any changes that we want, um, regardless of uh, which s protection method we used. Uh, it, the things only change once we protect the sheet. So let's do that now by hitting Alt R P S. You'll notice now that the select locked cells option is toggled on, whereas in our last example, it was toggled off. So let's add our password. We'll confirm it. All right, so now I can click any cell in the workbook. However, I still can't edit them. And so that's one of the changes from our previous example. Um, if I try to, it comes up with a dialog box that, that warns me that this is a protected sheet and that uh, in order to make those changes, I would need to unprotect it. So we do have some unlock cells and we can adjust those just like before. Uh, so we can make those changes. I'll undo that. Uh, however, the additional layer that we've had with by edit, allowing an edit range is now these cells in 7 and 8 we can make adjustments to. So when I try and change them, a new dialog box pops up. And this allows me to unlock this specific range. So we can type in our password. And sure enough, once I've done that, we can now edit these two cells. Now, why we would want to edit these, I'm not fully sure, uh, but it does demonstrate that that's possible. Now, protected uh, worksheets, uh, edit ranges, these are actually things that I, I do use fairly regularly, well, especially when I have documents that I need to share uh, throughout uh, the company that I'm particularly at. There may be areas that I don't want people to access, but uh, certain people I do want to be able to make some changes. Maybe they have a better understanding of the purpose of the sheet or, or how to operate it. So by having these options, we have a, a lot more flexibility. Uh, for my uh, tutorials for the Excel 2016 exam series, uh, I do have an example that I worked through in considerably more detail than this that goes through the options, whether you allow people to view formulas or to be able to copy. Uh, and so I'll make sure I include a link for that uh, at the end of this video. Uh, but let's, uh, let's wrap up this particular section now. Uh, and uh, I'll thank you for joining me and hope that you are able to find something uh, informative in preparation for your exam. This is Craig with Carshalton Advisory. Thanks for watching.